Hello and welcome to another walkthrough of SQL. We're going to play a little bit about with regular expressions. So I assume that you've watched the lecture on regular expressions, so I'm just going to sort of tell you each one, what each one of these does. So I'm going to make an email table with just some text in it. I'm going to insert some email addresses in it. Select star from em is my table. Um, from. So there we go. So we have a few things that we can look at. So let's take a look at some of these uh, queries. So um, so this tilde is a regular expression. It's kind of like like, but it's the regular expression one. So that the difference is is that this does not need um, this. This basically is going to take this umish and move it across the entire sort of match it moving across. And so anything that has a umish in it anywhere is going to match this one. You don't have to put wildcards at the beginning and end like you do on a light clause. So if I'm, that's really saying select where there is anywhere in the email address, there is a umish email address. The caret is the start, so that basically says select anything that starts with the letter C. So C7, Colleen, of course, do. Then select something, the dollar sign is a meta character that says Show me the everything that ends with dollar sign. So that has all the edu ones. So there's a apple.com and apple.com. Um, so the bracket is a single character that's a set. So what this is saying is I want to see at the beginning of the line some a, something that starts with G or N or T. That's what the brackets are. It's a, it's a set of possible characters. So there we go. The G or the N or the T is what we got. So now we can look for any digit. So you can, inside brackets, you can have a range. So 0 9 is a range. And again, it's still going to check every character. It's like, is this a number? Is this a number? Is this a number? And then it finds it. So they'll find the ones that have a number in them anywhere. And it finds this one. If I have Bracket 0 through 9, bracket 0 through 9 is my regular expression. That says two digits right next to each other, but anywhere in the file. So that says this is TED79. That was a two-digit one. Here was the, before we did a one-digit num, so num, a one, a one digit number anywhere in the email. So Glenn one matched, but if I want a two-digit number, away I go. Okay, so that's just sort of a review of some of the basics that we can do. Now you can also take the email and run it through a regular expression. So this is just a WHERE clause, right? But what we're doing is we're going to actually, instead of just showing the email address, we're going to pull things out of the email address. And so what we're going to, I'll show, let's just show you this. It's kind of cool. And then it's actually pulling the number out, right? Select substring email from quote 0 through 9 plus. So here we go. 0 through 9 is any digit. Plus means one or more of them. Got to have one or more of them. And what's happening here is email is the whole email address. But what we're doing is with this from inside the parentheses. It's different than saying which table it is. That's this from. From inside the parentheses says, look, apply this regular expression and extract from email that, that fraction of this, that portion that matches 0 through 9 plus. So that gives us the 79 and it gives us the 1. So this is in a WHERE clause, right, where email is got matches this regular expression. And then you can also do it in the results of the select. Now, you can also use parentheses. So what this is saying here is we're going to take the email and we're going to run it through a regular expression. And now in this regular expression is dot plus, which means any character one or more times, followed by an at sign, and then parenthesis means start extracting, and then dot star means zero or more characters, followed by stop extracting, followed by the end of the string. So what that really is saying is that saying go up to and start extracting after the at sign and go all the way to the end of the string. So that's how we've got umish.edu, we just got all the email addresses, right? So if we, the email is everything, but we're able to go 
up to the at sign, start extracting, and then ex end extracting at the end of the string. And so we can get the, the email address. It's pretty cool, huh? You can also just throw a distinct. This is a perfect like example of distinct. It's really just these rows, exact rows that you get without distinct, except that the duplicates are now removed. So we go from six rows with two duplicates to four rows with no duplicates. And that's exactly what the select distinct does. And that's, that's really awesome. I just, the select distinct is like, yep, just show me the unique ones. Just like in distinct, we can do a group by. Now this looks a little bit complex where we're seeing but you'll just notice that the, the substring email has to be repeated over and over and over again. We're going to pull out the domain name, then we're going to count the domain names, and we're going to do a group by the domain name. So that, I, I wish there was a way to make that a shortcut, but there's not really an easy way to make that a shortcut. But you will see here that what we're going to get is we are going to get the number of times this is going, each of these domains is going to be used. So remember that, you know, an order, a group by and a count is kind of like a distinct, except it's keeping track of the ones that it throws away. So it threw away one UMish, but it's like that means that count is two. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> okay. And you can put the substring in the where clause as well. So we can say, you know, select star from EM where the substring email from blah 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 this whole little email from quote dot plus at parenthesis dot star that's basically saying in the where clause we're going to do the substring extraction and then match that to umich.edu so there we go and we can see the id okay so that is playing with regular expressions um on email addresses let's go and put uh, put some play with tags a little bit. Tags is this notion that you have these pound sign strings and we're gonna make a little table of tweets. Not too many tweets. We've got three little tweets with uh, five little tags. So we can see our our tweets. There's three little, th three little tweets and uh, five tags. So we can of course use regular expressions that says, you know, find pound sign SQL anywhere in tweet tilde pound sign SQL. So that's, you're finding the tweet. That's really just a where clause, right? That's, that's nothing different than what we did before. But then inside the select, you basically can say, I would like to <coughs> show, take this tweet column from the Twitter, the TW table, and run this match. And so it it's a pound sign, this is a regular expression, a pound sign, followed by start of extraction, followed by and embraces A through Z, lowercase a through Z, up zero through nine and underscore. So that's, that's our legitimate letters. Plus means we have to have one or more of those characters, and then we stop extracting. So when we run out of, which in, in this case, it'll be the blank. We'll start here, we'll go grab pound SQL and the blank will stop us because blank is not in this set of characters that we are doing. G means do it more than once. And then you're gonna see that this sort of, this sort of expands because some of these have more than one. And so this regex match creates sort of some virtual rows. So this, even though there's only three tweets, we get one sort of virtual row because regex match sort of expands. And if we, we can use select distinct on that one as well. So that sort of takes our six tags and knocks her down to four tags because there are some duplicates. But we can also then hook back on here if we don't do the distinct, we can hook back on the ID of the row it came in. And you can sort of see the mapping of which actual tweet. So tweet one has SQL and fun, tweet, tweet two has SQL and UMSI, and tweet three has UMSI and Python. And so that gives you a little bit of regular expressions. Um, regular expressions are themselves a study. And so, you know, you'll, you'll learn regular expressions probably as much from Stack Overflow as anything else.